about D.L. Hughley, and I got to be very transparent and very honest with you, mm-hmm. the brother had the balls enough to call me because I put my phone number out there. I saw that. I saw that. I, I, saw I that. was like, I'm like, oh, you want to talk? I'm like, oh, okay, hold on. Give me a few minutes. Let me get home and drop the wife and kids off. <laughs> so I went and I sat in a parking lot somewhere and I talked to him for about an hour. It was a pleasant, respectful conversation. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I said, man to man, bro, that really hurt me when I see another black man go on a platform like that and you devalue me like I don't mean anything to anybody, bro. I would never do that to you, DL. Regardless of what I thought about you, and I don't really know you, but I wouldn't do that. Now, there's a few things I could have talked about about you, but I don't do that to people, bro. And I don't do this childish ass tit for tat thing, man. I said, that's really wrong and you owe me an apology. I'm not asking you for one. But if it's in your heart and in your spirit, do that. But if it's not, that's cool too, bro. You understand what I'm saying? But in a minute, dude, Negroes like you are not going to be able to do that. I'm just letting you know. Mm. I asked for a thousand strong soldiers. Shit, I got 300 people that call me and text me, man. So, yeah, it was really, really a real conversation I had with the brother. And, you know, that was it, man. And it was like, and I was, I think I was so heated that night. I, I did my live. I was like, man, dude, you don't even understand, bro. Mm. You don't, you don't, you don't even understand the power of the thing that I put in place, helping to build Jeez. an institution called Public Enemy. Sheesh putting money on brother's books that got, you know, 10, 15 years. Them brothers are out on the street now, bro. And they feel that they owe Griff. So if I gave the word, you dead ass. I'm going to leave that alone. How Shout out to Dream Cooking. Peace and salute the OG, Fred and the fam. How did he respond to you owe me an apology and and you holding firm on, on your stance? No, to be honest with you, he held firm on his. He was just basically like, that shit wasn't doing Nick Cannon no good. I said, bro, I don't really know Nick Cannon like that. Mm. I, I don't, and I didn't tell Nick what to say. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I was yeah. following Nick's lead in the conversation like I am tonight with you. Yeah, you damn sure was. I was just quiet. I was humble. I'm in somebody else's living room, classroom. I'm showing respect. Yes, sir. I didn't speak out of turn. I was like, that's this brother's classroom, man. Yeah, and 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 you know what I took from that? Uh, you made a statement in 